good morning friends uh, today we will discuss the previous year question and this is a episode 8 so first question is a uh, clad medium it is used in a preference to mcconkey agar in relation to culture of the organism which is involved in the urine infection the reason is so first what is a clad medium so clad medium it is nothing but it is an cystic lactose electrolyte deficient agar means there is some of the electrolytes will be absent or it will be in deficient in the preparation of this agar and this is an example of a differential agar okay so and so clad medium it is in uh, how to say it is in uh, it is used in the place of the mcconkey agar in the urine, urine infections that is urine samples so if, we, if they are doing a culture in the urine sample usually they will prefer the clad medium okay so they are asking what is the reason so first it prevents the swarming of the proteas and it differentiates the lactose lf and nlf and it promotes the staphylococcus streptococcus and candida and it identifies as pseudomonas okay so here so always a clad medium it is uh, it usually prevents the so here this is a more a typical question and it is a difficult question because uh, because it is everything is positive okay so everything is uh, okay that is uh, all the statements are true for the flat medium but you want to select the appropriate answer in this question so the answer here is it promotes the staphylococcus streptococcus and the candida okay okay fine so uh, so how uh, the main thing is so the cysteine lactose electrolyte deficient agar it is similar to mcconkey agar and it will be differentiating the lactose fermenting and non lactose fermenting colonies so in mcconkey agar uh, the lactose colonies will be pink in color right so nlf will be a colorless so what happens here is it is used as an alternative to the combinations of blood agar and the mcconkey agar for the processing of the urine sample because so the main advantage is for the urinary sample you no need to use the both the blood agar and mcconkey agar okay so in the place of both these agar you can use only a single agar that is in clad agar so that is the main advantage of the clad medium okay so uh, it will be preventing in blood agar so there will be in swarming okay so but what happens here is so it can prevent the swarming of the protease so that you can be uh, able to uh, visualize the growth of the organism very clearly and what is the advantage of mcconkey agar it is less inhibitory to the gram positive bacteria like staph candida etc except um, beta hemolytic streptococcus because it is a fastidious organism so it is always will be grown in the, uh, the blood agar and that too in the anaerobic conditions okay so the main point you are here is you want to remember see so always when they are asking the urinary sample you will be preferring the clad agar okay because there is a two advantage one it is preventing the swarming of the proteas and second it is a less inhibited to the gram positive bacteria okay so these are the two points which favors the use of the clad agar in the urinary samples okay so so this is the answer okay so it promotes the step step and candida so what are the super antigens which is produced by a uh, following pathogen except so first is staphylococcus aureus, enterococcus fecalis, rabies virus and HIV. The answer is it is a straightforward that is an enterococcus fecalis. Okay. So how, um, so some of the mechanism of super antigen here is, <coughs> sorry, uh, so normally the antigen will be this. So normally the antigen will be processed by antigen presenting cells and then it will be handing over to the T helper cells it will be producing an antibody okay so what happens here is this super antigen this bypasses the antigen presenting cells it will directly binds to the T helper cells that is uh, that is a, a specific region called as a T cell receptor 
where there is a region called V beta region, it will bind to that and thereby it stimulates in B cell and it produces an enormous amount of the antibodies. Okay. So normally processed by antigen presenting cells, but in super antigen it will be bypassing the antigen presenting cells and the directly it will bind to the T cell receptors and it will stimulate the the production of the B cells and which causes an hyper gamma globulin. Okay. So what are the examples here is staphylococcal toxin that is in toxic shock syndrome toxin, exfoliative toxin and the anterior toxin whereas in streptococcal it is in pyrogenic exotoxin A and the C and mycoplasma arthritis mitogen and Yersinia enterocolitica and Yersinia pseudotuberculosis. Okay. <coughs> Oh, sorry friends and next it is a viral so it is an Epstein Barr virus cytomegalovirus rabies nuclear capsule and HIV encoded that is in F that is a negative regulatory factor and malassezia profile okay so this can be asked as an so MCQ alone <coughs> okay fine this is an important you want to remember the all the examples of the bacterial super antigens okay so coming for next question what is in surrogate marker of the MR, mrsa detection is so that is in methicillin resistant staphylococcus aureus so here the answer is the cefoxetin okay so whenever they are asking mrsa you want to remember the drug cefoxetin because there are the other markers like oxazolin and methicillin but we won't be using that because they are the unstable compounds and so when compared to these two both um, drugs and this is a most stable and it can be used okay and it is used as a best mark okay so cefoxetin it is an so cefoxetin it is a surrogate marker for the MRSA. Always remember this point there is an important one. So cefoxetin it is an answer. So coming for next question anti-rabies vaccine is prepared by. So first question. So here option is street virus, fixed virus, live virus and wild virus. So the answer here is always a fixed virus. So the vaccines are always produced by fixed virus okay so some of the differentiating points you want to remember here is so first street virus it causes a disease whereas fixed virus it does not cause any disease so here it produces negri body fixed rabies does not produce any negri bodies so it usually affects the salivary gland virus fix does not affect the salivary gland so here the incubation period is three months and that is for about four to five days only okay so main point is here is fixed virus is always used in the production of the vaccine whereas street rabies it usually causes in so diseases and this fixed rabies it is mainly the vaccine is produced by repeated passage of the cultures okay so which is not causing the neurodegeneration it is in Balamutia, Aidamoeba and Negmeria and Entamoeba here you want to remember this okay so when comparing to the all the options the Aid Amoeba it is an answer over here and just remember this okay so there is nothing in another point and here in this what are the key points is so always the vaccine strains is usually produced from the fixed rabies okay so that is a key point for over here and cefoxetin it is a surrogate marker for MRSA and super antigens it will be uh, bypassing the antigen presenting cells and directly it will enter into the T cell receptor and produces an enormous amount of the immunoglobulins okay so first question I told you whenever there is a urine sample always remember it is a flood medium that is a cysteine lactose electrolyte deficient agar okay so thank you friends